former Glamour model Sam Fox, 56, has admitted that a weight has been lifted off her shoulders since she was given the all clear. This comes after Sam discovered a lump in her throat, just days before her wedding to now wife, Linda Olson. Speaking of the stressful experience, she said, I really cried a lot. I'm such a positive person but it's hard when you've got something like that hanging over you. I was very fearful. Sam then recalled the moment she found out she was cancer-free and the growth was benign. She exclaimed, I had this incredible feeling of relief. I was with my mom and my wife Linda, and we were all very emotional. Since I had the all clear it's been amazing. I haven't slept through the night for months, but now I can do that again because I'm not worrying, she concluded to the sun. This comes after the former model's ex-fiancé and former manager Myra Stratton died from cancer in August 2015. Due to her own situation, Sam was left with no choice but to remember difficult memories. She said, I watched her waist away and saw the amount of drugs she was on. That was seven years ago, but when I was waiting for my results it felt like yesterday. All of the memories came flooding back. Sam married long-term partner Linda in a lavish ceremony in Epping Forest, Essex last month. The newlyweds announced their engagement in March 2020 and were due to marry the same year but had to postpone because of the COVID pandemic. Dot Sam looked incredible in a strapless white gown, featuring a sparkling bodice and a long train. While Linda looked lovely in a floor-length strapless white gown, they both opted for similar makeup looks with a red lip and smoky eye. The newlyweds also went for the same hairstyle with it being partially back, showing off their luscious curls. She arrived at the wedding in a white taxi with pink ribbons and a heart-shaped floral arrangement on the bonnet. The number plate read, Sam and Linda are getting married, June 18, 2022. According to Cancer Research UK, roughly 90% survive their cancer for five or more years after their diagnosis. In the UK, roughly 2,000 new cases of this type of cancer occur and it tends to be more common over the age of 60, 